Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the mad cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Eagles playbook. This is a playbook I didn't really touch on all year in Madden 20. I'm um, doing some labbing before Madden 21 comes out. Trying to lab against, you know, certain coverages. Maybe labbing some new playbooks. Uh, stuff like that. And I came across a really good uh, passing formation out of the, uh, the Eagles playbook here. Uh, the gun doubles wide flex. Uh, I can show you a play in this uh, formation that pretty much home runs every single defense. And that's what I'm going to do today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, some coverage beaters, some one-play touchdowns, uh, starting with cover two. Um, if this, some of these plays might look familiar. A couple years ago, I know this play in particular, the PA deep outs. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that first. Um, this is a play that probably looks familiar. If you ran cover two uh, not too long ago, um, your opponent could just dial this up, and they wouldn't even have to do anything, and this Y route would essentially just split the cover two. It doesn't really work anymore. They kind of patched that. As you can see, I mean, that's Deshaun Jackson who's getting neared by the linebacker. He made the catch, though. So you can see it's still possible to get home runs uh, against cover two with this particular play. So you can see that play. If you have a real speed advantage, the PA deep outs can still work, but it's something that's going right over the middle, so the user can still drop into that, which makes, to me, this play I'm about to show you a little bit better. The seams X under is is also a very good cover to play and there's a much uh, less of a chance that your opponent will come in the way so like i was saying this play here um, this attacks more to the outside, which is typically how I want to attack cover two. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can motion across just about any one of these other receivers. If you want to motion Aguilar here, I'm going to put him on a streak. If I want to motion him in, uh, snap him once he gets past uh, you know, the the, uh, the offensive tackle there, uh, you can see how the Y route's getting outside. Now, he got jammed up quite a bit. Typically, get him a little bit more of a free release than that. I'm also going to move the ball over because I, I couldn't help but notice. I think I'm going to need space to the sideline. So we're going to move the ball over just a little bit so I have more space to operate. So you can really motion across any of the receivers. You can even do Ertz here. Uh, make sure you re-put them on a streak. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, Ertz might even be the best one because you can see right here the way that that safety kind of stayed outside. You can throw it inside of the tight end. You can throw it outside the Deshaun. You really just have to watch which, which one of the, the safety mirrors. So that's something that, um, you know, you can have your, your cake and eat it too, uh, depending on uh, which receiver you motion across. Like I said, Ertz, you can see how Deshaun doesn't really move uh, when I motion Ertz across, like he does when Aguilar, when I motion Aguilar across. When I motion Aguilar across, he comes in closer to the line, which is why he doesn't get off the line uh, the same way he's been doing. If you are going to, um, you know, motion across Aguilar to create that look, uh, you know, having Ertz on a, on a streak is not really going to help. He's just going to pull the coverage back. So if you're going to motion Aguilar, make sure you have him uh, as the only receiver on the streak. You can see he has the same effect. So obviously, receivers will give you a little bit more of a speed advantage. Uh, and you can go inside or outside on this play. So moving on quick so I can get all these in the same video. Uh, the PAD bounce, we're going to go back to that uh, because we're going to do cover three next. So on the next play, we're just going to pick uh, first cover three. We see cover three sky. So all I really have to do to make this play successful is put the Y route on a streak and then put the A route on a streak uh, as I accidentally didn't do that. So... But it still worked out. As you can see, I didn't even get the tight end on the streak, and I still had success. So here we go. Like I said, I mean, all I did was put the eight with the Y route on the streak. This guy's supposed to be on the streak, too, so that he keeps that uh, safety uh, going going back. Uh, but you can see I didn't even accidentally start it before I ever did that. And the play was still gone. So you can see how, how easy this play is as long as you, you know, wait till he gets past that cornerback. And then, you know, basically bullet and pass lead to the outside. He's going to get to that area. So it's really the combination of the streak and the out route are the only things that matter. But typically, I want to have that tight end on a streak as well. So I'm going to do that one more time. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, you can even, if you want to, you can even try to move over Ertz a little bit just to move that safety out of the center of the field as much as possible. Uh, and then you can see how, um, you know, it's really just waiting for that Y route to, to get past that cornerback. And then there's pretty much a gap every time. So a couple different ways you can do that particular play. Now, this play is also a cover four quarters or a cover four palms beater. Uh, all you really have to do to make it work that way. And if I run it just like this, I'll show you something real quick. The Y route here um, typically will will beat this, uh, this guy one-on-one. -on -one. But you can see, since there was nothing pulling that other safety, it becomes a two-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't really work out. So there's only one adjustment you really have to make. All you have to do is put the A route in a comeback. And now that safety is going to stay down and double team uh, the tight end. And now you can see how easily the Y route just gets right past, which is essentially a one-on-one. -on -one. It looks like a zone, but it plays a lot like a man. So like I said, all you have to do, put that A route in a comeback. 
and you're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one with that safety and since this safety is not really a man they're just basically asking to get beat and that's exactly what's gonna happen so definitely one of the easiest cover four quarters beers in the game so I'm gonna end the vid there if you guys want to see part two some dink and dunk pass plays some kind of glitchy hard to stop uh, small ball pass plays and some run plays from this exact same formation let me know in the comment section hit the like button and I'll do that on Saturday other than that thanks for watching man my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.